Welcome drone video fans. This is another video in my series on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County. Uh, today we're highlighting the Olins Bridge, sometimes called the Olins Dewey Road Bridge since it's located on Dewey Road, which is in uh, Plymouth Township in uh, Ashtabula County. Um, it's only two and a half miles from the Bonetka Road Bridge, which uh, was my uh, previous uh, video and uh, I, I shot both of these bridges on the same day. This bridge was um, actually named after, <laughs> there goes a car, I had to pull over to let him through. Um, this bridge was actually named after a family, the Olins family, who's owned this property and property surrounding the bridge since uh, 1873 when this bridge uh, opened up. We're uh, taking a run through the uh, center of the bridge here, see the light coming in through the framed in windows and uh, kind of concentrating on the uh, the uh, woodwork along the side. This is what's known as a town lattice construction, uh, lattice referring to the crisscrossing of the wood beams along the side there and you can see how that's done. Um, it's you know probably kind of uh, work intensive but uh, that's the way they, they made them back in the uh, old days. The bridge is uh, 115 feet long and it, it spans uh, a section of the uh, Ashtabula River. It was uh, renovated in uh, 1985 um, and uh, one peculiarity about this bridge uh, from all the rest of them that I shot is that on all the rest of them where the water was running from east to west uh, and this bridge, the water is running from west to east. Um, here I'm climbing up. Uh, you can see the the uh, um, limit for vehicles is uh, 12 feet uh, to, in order to be able to pass through this. Climbing up and you can see a little damage to the uh, roofing shingles and I was going to make a run uh, across the top of this bridge and as I started to do so um, I noticed on my uh, tablet, uh, which I'm watching the video, that uh, I had lost uh, GPS satellite uh, uh, connection. I think I dropped from 13 satellites down to five. Um, and again, it's because there was a huge uh, cell tower. Uh, these bridges are in very remote areas, but uh, they seem to also have a cell tower located uh, in all these remote areas. Um, so I head back down through the bridge, but rather than put you through that again, I, I cut that section out <clears throat> and uh, we went down the road here and we're going to uh, make a little detour, go down along the side uh, of the, uh, of the um, Ashtabula River. There's a, an iron rope going across this uh, pathway, which I was able to step over with some difficulty while I uh, continue to watch and fly the quad and um, um, you know watch out for poison ivy on either side of the bridge. The uh, path is composed of uh, mostly like gravel and um, rock so it's not uh, uh, it's not too difficult to traverse it but uh, you have to keep uh, uh, a watch for a good footing because uh, you could probably trip and fall especially if you're kind of clumsy. So here we are on the uh, west side of the bridge and coming up on the edge of the uh, Ashtabula River and uh, uh, as I said the, in, in this case the river is flowing from uh, on the screen from right to left uh, from west to east and, uh, and so we're going to get out here and uh, turn around and face the uh, west side of the bridge and uh, uh, you can see that it has one central uh, support but before we see that uh, I uh, climb a little bit and you can see the um, air ducts uh, right underneath the roof to allow for ventilation and of course the uh, framed in windows and the uh, siding that's along the side of the bridge. Now as we're backing off you can see the, uh, the central uh, uh, support section and um, the uh, river which splits and goes on either side of the uh, of that center support section um, 
Uh, we're going to drop down here a little bit and get uh, closer to the river. You can see the, the river uh, actually moving uh, in the distance uh, uh, downstream. And uh, I kind of do a little pan here across the uh, the full length of the of the bridge just to give you an idea of the of the full 115 foot span of the uh, bridge, um, resting on uh, concrete on one side and on the the actual ground itself on the other side. So uh, now we're a we're aimed in a westerly direction, which is uh, actually upstream. And as you can see, the river itself is fairly shallow uh, this time of the year. There haven't been any, uh, you know, severe rains or anything to swell the river. And uh, there's good walking along the shoreline, as you can see, with the, uh, with the rocks, uh, flat rocks along the side. The uh, river itself is fairly shallow. And uh, it goes uh, in this direction and then makes a sweeping turn uh, to the left. Uh, much further up the, up the, the way so uh, didn't want to go up that too far but we turned around here to get a a uh, another look at the uh, almost the full span of the of the bridge um, from the west uh, side and as we're coming down here and I'm watching um, my uh, Nvidia tablet uh, attached to my transmitter where I can see all the video uh, I'm thinking, boy, it would be a, a great shot if I just like zoomed right underneath this bridge and came out the other side. But then I got to thinking how I lost uh, my satellite, the GPS satellite connection, uh, when I was just flying over the top of it. So it gave me pause for concern, and I decided, well, instead of going through on this side, I'll uh, kind of sidle over to the uh, left here on the other side of the main partition and go through on this side because there's a, a little path of uh, shallow uh, of, of rocks there where it's shallow where I can kind of walk after in case it, it uh, didn't make it underneath the bridge but as you can see I had no problems getting through so uh, we're gonna follow this little walkway of, uh, of uh, shale uh, rock <clears throat> And here you can see the, the water running over the, the uh, rocks. It's uh, not running very fast, but I'm kind of behind it watching it. And we're looking now to the east and uh, about a half mile further down river in, in this direction, there's a, it makes a sweeping turn to the right. And there's actually about a three foot falls down in that direction. Um, I was not uh, prepared to go down uh, that far and uh, shoot that video. So maybe if I decide to do a, a, um, a series of uh, videos on uh, the rivers in the area, we'll, we'll include that. It's a nice shot of the full span of the bridge. There, there are me standing on uh, some flat rocks and we're going to head back up um, that path. Uh, that uh, I came back down. We're uh, flying back in the, in the general direction. Um, it's a. This is a, a actually a fairly nice one to come to. There's uh, very little traffic, and um, uh, you know because it's shallow and because there are rocks uh, that you can walk on, um, it uh, makes for some uh, interesting exploring. Uh, and I can imagine. Uh, if you had a uh, family of, uh, with some uh, young kids in it, they would enjoy coming along the, uh, the shore uh, line of the, of the uh, Ashtabula River here, picking up some of those flat rocks and skipping them across the, uh, across the river. Now we're coming back up on that dreaded uh, iron rope that, uh, that they have across the, the path. And what I do is fly the uh, quad over the uh, the rope, iron rope, and let it hover by itself while I uh, try to gracefully step over the rope. <laughs> um, we get back out here into the street and turn towards the, uh, this is Dewey Road again, we turn back towards the uh, uh, Olin Bridge 
uh, Olin Dewey Road Bridge and uh, take one more uh, quick look at it from uh, this direction where you can see the name and uh, the river uh, which it spans on either side. It was a, a nice shoot, uh, enjoyed uh, doing it and uh, it's uh, one to, to come and visit if you have a chance. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we have a, a few more coming up like this, so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.